Well, hello, Detroit. Thanks to the love of my life, Gwen, for her endless support and for coming along with me on this wild ride. I also want to use this as an opportunity to thank my amazing kids, Hope and Gus. You guys are what it's all for, and I couldn't be prouder of you. And thank you to all of you. You could probably uh, tell from these rallies all across the country tonight, this team is running like everything's on the line. Because everything's on the line. But I want to take tonight to talk about one issue in particular that really underlines the stakes in this election. So let me speak to the guys in the crowd tonight. I want you to think about the women in your life that you love. Their lives are at stake in this election. Donald Trump appointed those Supreme Court justices who repealed Roe versus Wade. And he brags about it. He is glad that those women you're thinking about and you love have fewer rights than their mothers and their grandmothers. More than 20 states across this country now have Trump abortion bans. But don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Trump said to all the women here, he'll be your protector. And then he added, I'm going to do it whether the women like it or not. Well, now we're seeing women turned away from emergency rooms, miscarrying in parking lots, whether they like it or not. Survivors of rape being forced to carry those pregnancies to term, whether they like it or not. Fertility clinics turning couples away at the door, whether they like it or not. Look, this is personal for so many of us, Gwen and I included. We were only able to have that family because of fertility treatments. And I will be damned if anyone in this country should be denied that same right. When Congress passes that bill to restore reproductive freedom, President Harris will sign it into law. <laughs> Folks, this is getting pretty simple now. Kamala and I trust women. It's that simple. Now tomorrow, women all across America, of every age, both parties, are going to send a loud and clear message to Donald Trump whether he likes it or not. So here it is, folks. It's our moment. The election is here. The momentum's on our side. With one or two votes per precincts in the state of Michigan, we can win the whole damn thing. We can. We take nothing for granted. Now, Gwen and I, we think the word hope is the most powerful word in the English language. In fact, it was so powerful when we finally had that child and that little girl, we named her Hope. But while hope is a great word and a great name, it's not a damn plan. So it's time for the pep talk, folks. We are in the fourth quarter. Two minutes left. The game is tied. But we've got the damn ball, and we got, we got the best quarterback on the field in Kamala Harris. We don't get tired because we know there's plenty of time to sleep when you're dead. And we, we believe in the promise of America. We just have to fight for it. Here's the deal, folks. There's going to be a day you're going to be sitting in that rocking chair and you're going to be rocking on that porch and a little one's going to come home from school and ask, what did you do in the 2024 election where the American experiment survived, where the rule of law survived, where decency survived? And you're going to be able to answer every damn thing I could. Every damn thing I could. So Detroit, it's time. And as the vice president says, when we vote, Michigan, bring this thing home for America. Let's go. Let's go.